Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and Sistonians and welcome to a let's play of Game Dev Tycoon. I've always loved my Tycoon games such as Railroad Tycoon, Rosa Tycoon, Rollercoaster Tycoon, sorry, Hospital Tycoon. But they were made by Hasbro, this is made by Greenheart the Games. There's a link in the description if you want to play for it yourself. It currently costs less than £7. You can buy it over a credit card, over PayPal, or just uh, through a bank transfer or something like that. They really do that. Now what actually brought my attention to this game was the way they handled piracy of the game. Unfortunately, like most games coming out these days, this game ended up on the Pirate Bay. So what the developers, what Greenheart Games decided to do was upload their own version of the game, but have a little line of code in it, where if you played it, you would always lose to piracy. That's a bit of irony for one of the people's faces right there. So yeah, I've always loved my Tycoon games, and we're going to play this game, we're going to see how far we can get playing it, essentially. Also, join me every now and again will be my daughter Alex, whenever she decides to rear her face. Two, we're going to provide us with some comical entertainment, as well as our own insights into the world of game developing. I mean, I've always wanted to be a game developer when I was younger. Unfortunately, my dreams were crushed and dashed, and unfortunately I hit the real world. So the only way that'll ever actually come true is if I play this game here, so... Without ever ado, let's get going. Okay, so we start on our garage. Is that a DeLorean? Wow, I'm pretty pimp, aren't I? I can't believe... I don't even have a garage. Also, I'm missing one of my tools on my tool rack over there. Oh, wait, no, there's a spanner in the... <sighs> cupboard. Also, I have Pong on the wall for some reason. So, yeah, we have been transported 30 years into the past, and we can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the lead of the market. So, it's a bit like YouTubing, except for it's a lot easier. Okay, so what's our company name going to be? I have an idea. It's going to be called Sistonia Inc. My play name will be Richard Garriott. I'm just messing around. It's called. It's going to be Systematic. What else could it be? Okay, let's change our features. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to be ginger. Do not want to be blonde? I'm not blonde. It's got to be brown haired. Unfortunately, there's not that many skins in the game. So we've got one. Actually, is that the same as this one? Look. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You know, it's gonna have to be that one. It's the shortest I can find. Let's see what. Let's pick a really nerdy one now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I like that one there. Yeah. Let's go with that one. Let's continue. Come on, systematic. Choose a safe slot. Okay. So yeah, I've been messing around a little, trying to get things working. Seems to be doing okay. And we're going to get rid of this one here. Yes. I really want to overwrite that game. Save slot two. Okay. So this is the game. This is my tutorial. Okay. So it's not giving me the tutorial, but that's fine. I can explain how things go along then. Okay. So this is. Me, this is my garage, and my job is to create games. At the top right-hand corner of the screen here is my fans, my cash, what week it is, and that kind of stuff. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to develop a game. Oh, here's the tutorial! Okay, what game, game do you want it to be? Yeah, yeah, it's officially limited at first, but it gets better as we carry on. So what I want to do, of course, is make my game most memorable, most enjoyable, and firstly, it's going to be the thing that sets us off. It's going to be a military, it's going to be an action game, and it's going to be for, be for this G64 thing here, because it has the highest market share. PC has the second highest market share, but it's the only plat second platform wonder thing anyway. I'm, I'm, of course, PC Master Race, but it's got to be for the G64, because I want to make me, me some more money, damn it. This is going to be called Rise Off Systematic. It's going to be a game where I'm trapped in some foreign exotic country, dumped there by my government, only to help me. So I take revenge on my government. That's right, it's a bit like... Uh, hmm. What's that one that was out for... What's, what's that game that was made by uh, Raresoft? I think, no, the ones who made Tom Split. It's a goodness. Free Radical, yes. It's a game made by Free Radical for the PlayStation 3 Plus. I think it's just for the PlayStation. Haze, that's the one. It's going to be just like Haze, except better. Start. It's going to be 2D, 2D graphics, text based games. We're not going to make any text based games because, quite honestly, I have standards. I'm only joking, of course. Let's get a quick drink there because making games is very thirsty work. But I don't think I'd, I don't enjoy text-based games, so I don't think anybody else would. So we're going to start development on our new game. Yes, get those fingers working, systematic. So as we rush through these stages, you get these little bubbles popping up, and they get poured into these points. So as the technology and design, the higher these are, the better quality of the games become. And also, the more we play, we get these research points as well, which allows us to unlock things later on. Also, we get these bugs on the left-hand side of the screen here. This is, of course, going to impede the overall uh, rating of the game, but it can be taken out of the game as it goes along. Okay, so we've got... What are we going to have for our game? Well, if, you're meant to, if there's anything to go by with today's games, they have very bad stories. Gameplay is also very low, and the engines are ooh, super high. I'm just joking. Now again, we're going to have a gameplay medium. We're going to row people with fancy, flashy graphics. So there you go. Our bubbles are starting to come up. So the game development has now started. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm just explaining about the bubbles. There we go. Those will be bug points. But that's okay. We can iron them out as the game goes along. Oh, yes, we're doing good here. No bugs. Look at this. Look at that. Look how fantastic I am. Okay, so... 
stage two of the development. So we're going to reduce the dialogues, we're going to have all these fancy level designs, and we're going to have absolutely dire artificial intelligence. That sounds accurate as well. So there we go, we're going to get more points. Uh oh, it's a bug. Quick, iron out. Two bugs. Oh crap, we're losing it now, aren't we? During development, you can also select additional features from my game. So let's get rid of this. Okay, so our additional features. World design can be okay. Graphics going to be through the roof, and sound is going to be mediocre as well. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Get, us, get rid of those bugs. Get good design points. Now the game's been finished. Now we could actually release it now, but I think I'm just going to wait a bit. Because the later you release it, you get a chance to iron out the bugs. You can also increase the points of it a little as well. Okay, no more bugs. Let's finish. Now, we're going to be playing this until we run out of cash or we ultimately fail the game. There we go. So, the development's completed. We will be presented with the summary of experience. So, after I complete the game, I get experience, which allows me to create better games and improve myself. So, engine is halfway through. Gameplay is doing good. Story, not so well. Dialogue's not so well either. It's a shooter game. Art of professional terms, it's mediocre. World design, low. Graphic is mediocre. Sound is okay. Systematic didn't level up. You know what, we're going to release our game to the public and make loads of money so I can feed my family and daughter and buy myself all kinds of crap. I like a solid gold burst off Lara Croft. That would be nice. When you finish your game development, while you, develop, while you develop the game, you also gain research points. These little points appear, which allow me to unlock things later on. So we're going to do a little bit of research while our game is being sent to the publishers. So what we're going to do, we can save research points to build as a custom game engine, or we could go for a new topic new topic we get a choice of racing fantasy pirate and sci-fi so we can unlock all of these uh, topics as the game goes along but i think we're just going to save our research points so we're just going to do that and we're just going to wait and waiting paid off because of course we have a new reviews for the game come on let's see how well it did come on you can do better than that six could have been more star games yeah let's see make something better come on give us a seven good game that's perfectly fine average is okay i guess <clears throat> so what you got to do is just slide the sliders around and hopefully try and get a, as great a game as possible through all of it. And this is based as well on the genres, the kind of game it is as well. And all this stuff to help you make good games or to help you make really bad games. Okay, oh, the news has come through. And you come up to the games industry, Systonia Inc. has just released their first game, Fires of Systematic. The game received favourable reviews. And with a good start, Systonia are sure to gain fans quickly. Yes, so we gained fans. Go look at all this money going through. 2000, 2500. Made it in the charts at fifth number 57. You know, that's fine by me, that's okay. Not that game is on sale, but I receive income every week the game is a thingy. It's also successful. We have 16 fans! I wish I had that many <laughs> subscribers to my YouTube channel. Okay, so we're going to make up a new game. We're going to make a medieval. We're going to make a medieval RPG. We're going to make it for the G64 again. There we go. We're going to call this one. Systematic quest. There we go. Next, let's go for it. It's going to be 2D graphics, of course. I'm just going to build. Oh my goodness, I'm minus 1.1k. Oh no, we're back to 18k. That's good. We're here again, 17 more fans. Okay, so we're going to have a lower engine. We're going to have a high story. Then we're going to have a story all the way up to the top. Gameplay can be a little low, I guess. It's just going to be a 2D adventure game if, that, if such a thing actually possibly exists. There we go, you get those little points going, yeah, there you go, you work a little brain magic, magic systematic. Oh dear, we've got bugs. Okay, you sold 10,000 units off, why is systematic? It's a milestone, yay! Come on, stop scratching your head, we've got money to rate, damn it, before we starve to death. Before my poor car can't be fixed. <gasps> my DeLorean! Okay, so we have an RPG, of course you've got to have a high dialogue. You've got to have a mediocre level design, and a, you know, we're going to have low artificial intelligence. There's going to be like zombies walking up to you and hitting you. It's going to be a medieval RPG with a zombie theme, that's right. That's where it's going to be, that's... I'm a good designer, I think. So, okay, so the scores aren't really that great, so sound's going to be increased, graphic can be lowered, and the world design can be higher as well. No, let's lower graphic and sound a little while we're at it. Okay, let's go for that too. That is writing something down in his notepad, what are you writing down there? Is it helpful? Okay, we're just going to iron out the bugs now, then we're going to release it. Come on, get rid of them. Yes! It's going! Come on, let's launch this game and make some more money. Ah oh, no, Rise of Systematic is off the market. 12,000 units sold, generating 89,000 sales. How much is that? Did we sell that for like five, six pounds a pop? Wow, I'm very cheap. I could have capitalised on that. I could have sold it for like 10 or 30 pound. Ooh, new topic, new combo. A great combo! Oh, look at this research points we're getting. Come on, let's make a better game. Come on, make it, 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 make it. You know, world design, graphic design. Come on, we're going to level up very soon, I think. Release my game! It's been like 
year one, month seven, week one. Okay, let's just wait on some reviews. Actually, can I research anything? Uh, no, not yet, that's fine. Oh, 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 come on, new reviews for s systematic quest. Come on, give me something good. Ah, oh, it's gonna be average again. Why am I doing this to myself? Come on, give me better points. Medieval and RPG is a great combination. You don't say. But what about the game itself? I don't know, I didn't even bother playing it. I just said, oh, systematic quest, and I thought, oh, that's gonna be good. Medieval and RPG is a great combination. I'm gonna give everything that's a great combination of mediocre score. Here they go, summer banana, where the sun does it shine. In your garage. Like mine. No sun shines here. Oh, we can mark statistical rules steady outside and competitors in the PC sector. So it's a good thing I'm making games for the D64. I mean, while I am, of course, PC Master Race. Am I joking? I love all platformers. Unfortunately, in this game, the G64 was uh, better than the PC. So we're just going to click OK. Say this might spell the end of competing man harder manufacturers. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, so I'm going to finish the quest and then can press. So we get contracting business now. So I'm going to just make little bits of money on the go. Clicking on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, so if I click there, I can do uh, contact work. Uh, it's useful for it's useful for earning extra money. And I can do things like that. Okay, that's okay. So we can debug a program. We can play test the game over three weeks. We can make a library soft develop a simple library management system. So you know we're just going to play test the game. We're going to beta test. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Accept this contract here. Accept it. Thank you. And we've got to get all these bubbles filled in before this time runs out. Oh, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. One. Yes, we made a bit more money. Oh wow, look how much money we're making from Systematic Quest. 104,000. Season here, got word from the client that the contract was completed. Excellent work. I usually have new contracts every six months. Check back sometime soon. Okay, you know what? We should, we should capitalize on this. We should make, make a new game. Let's see, a medieval, so we can make a sports. You know what? I like the sports action game. Pick platform. We're going to do it for the Z64 course. Yeah, we go. What can we call this game? A sport action game. You know what? I can only think of one good name for this. Bum... Bice... Is that how you spell bicycle? No, bicycle... Battle. There we go. This is going to be a game about bums who battle on their bicycles. You're the coach of a bum bicycle battler. And your job is to help raise them and train them to be the best bum bi bicycle battler ever. That's a fantastic game. I should sell this to a publisher or something. This is going to, have, of course, have 2D graphics. Go, come on, Bum Bicycle Battling. This is going to be the only game in my repertoire that does not have systematic in the title. So, quests low, gameplay is going to be high as well as the engine. Actually, engine full, yeah. Because, of course, some Bum Bicycles have engines on them. This gives them a bit of an unfair advantage over other bums, but damn hell, you know, it, 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 it does the job. Okay, artificial intelligence is going to be a bit higher. Dialogues are going to be low because it's just going to be like, Oh, give me a sandwich! Get off my street, you bum! You know, that kind of stuff. So, we're going to have a... Mediocre level design, artificial intelligence has to be the highest. Because of course you're battling against other bums, that's our point of the game. There we go, come on, get that research up and we can build us a new engine soon. Oh look at that, technology points. Okay, so world design is going to be low, which is going to have high graphics, and it's going to have amazing sound. Let's lower down world design a little. Time allocation, there we go, come on. Come on, let's get it going. Look at all those delicious research points. Look at that technology. Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. The Nintendo is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. <laughs> Unlike their unsuccessful fan size, Mario. <laughs> Many industry experts believe that home gaming will not take off, but we're waiting to see what Nintendo will deliver. Okay, but what about Bum Bicycle Battling? Will it sell well? Okay, okay, Stanley Quest made uh, 109,000 in sales. Okay, that is good. That must have been like six pound again. Come on. What can Bum Bicycle Battling do for us? No, that's good stats. Let's go for that one. Let's finish it off. And after this sells, I think we're going to have to make us a new engine. So, new topic, new combo. Come on, it's a great combo. Thank you. A sports action game. Bum bicycle battling. <laughs> okay, so we're leveling up in all kinds of areas. Wow. Holy moly, I'm really good at this, aren't I? <laughs> Third game already and I leveled up. Release the game to the public. Okay, so we're going to research our new engine. Because we have the points for it. We have nothing better to do. We're rich. Oh, oh, reviews came in for Bum Bicycle Battling. Come on, make them high, make them high. Ah, oh, average again. Source potential, source potential, my bum. The focus on sound <laughs> served very well in this game. Thank you, that. I guess it's better than saying that this is a good combination of games. We've got an eight. That's the first eight. Come on, give us another eight. Seven. Nice experience. You know what? That's perfectly fine by me. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh my goodness, this is sending all the cockcakes. Oh my goodness, first week, 49,000. 
I'm doing fantastic here, aren't I? 21 fans as well. Come on, people, like me. Subscribe to my channel as well. I should probably put that in my credit somewhere. Subscribe to the Star and Sunday today. Okay, so we've got our custom game engine. So I think we're going to have to focus on uh, creating my own custom engine for a bit. We're going to have some save games, of course. We're going to create this in the engine. There you go, we're now creating our own custom game engine. I'll be able to use it when creating games. How great is that? Bum Bicycle Battle so, sold really well. I think that's going to have to have a sequel. Oh, 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 the inventor are releasing the new console. TES, the every system, has two, has four buttons and a analog controller. Come on, you're, you're done, don't delete that battle. Yes, a new engine is now complete. Now people can save games for the first time ever. You know what, we're just going to keep it customizing our engine. That's what we're going to do for the time being. We have a nice linear story. Then we're going to make an RPG about space. We're going to make the next Mass Effect. Well, I'll say next Mass Effect, really the very early Mass Effect. There we go, get those points going. Thank you. Oh, one more point going today. Woohoo, now I've got a new engine. So we're going to carry on crafting our engine. We're going to, oh wait, we can change the name of it, oh, can't we? Now, game engines normally have weird funky names like, say, Predator Engine, the Ice Engine, Steel Razor Engine, the Bloody War Engine. That's what we're going to call this, the Bloody... No. Sis... I'm going to call it this... No, System X Engine sounds uh, too commonplace with a company called Systonia, Inc. It's not going to be called a... Uh, it's going to be called a Slippy Engine. There we go, Slippy Engine, that sounds good. We're going to have a mono sound on our games as well. This is going to be ahead of its time as well. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so fantastic. Now you guys going to have amazing sounds. Oh, Bum Bicycle Battle is now off the market. It made 142,000 in sales and sold 20,000 copies. I'm a genius. That must have been like £6 again. Bum Bicycle Battle says we're going to have to make a sequel for that one, aren't we? There we go. We've got enough money to survive now, so we're just going to keep making games like this. Excellent. Slippy is now complete. Okay, create custom engine. Game Engine 4, okay, so we're going to do 2D graphics. Yeah, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do 2D graphics. Then we're just going to do... Oh, cost... Wait, really? Cost 120k? Okay, you know what? We're just going to make a new game then. Develop a new game. Maybe we set a new topic off... Uh, eh, fantasy will do. We're going to get that going. We're not making any money at the moment. That's, that's kind of buggy, I guess. So we've been going for two years, two months, and uh, four weeks now. Not bad, if I do say so. It's a new topic. Fantasy. Okay, we're going to make a new fantasy game now. Come on. Pick a topic. Fantasy. Pick a genre. Adventure fantasy. Sounds good for a platform with the G64. Pick a game engine. We're going to make a, the Slippy engine. Yes. And this is going to be called... Mm, it's a fantasy game. So we're going to call it... Yet another JRPG. There we go. Because I used to like Final Fantasy, but of course not anymore. So 2D graphics, version 1, start development. This is going to be good. Okay, so these kinds of games are kind of a mediocre engine, mediocre gameplay, and a similar high quests. Actually, not. let's focus on gameplay and quests. There we go. Come on, you can do it, boy. Boy, what the hell am I talking about? That's myself. Come on, Simic. Yeah, you quite sum it down. See if I can. Dialogue has got to be behind these games. I have an Artificial intelligence, not so much level design. This is going to be a mediocre one, I think. Today the new games. Oh no, can't capitalize on that now, can we? But also, I've got to research a gamepad for it. Oh dear me. So we're going to get some delicious points coming in there. T design is high, technology is mediocre, world design has got to be high. Graphic detail has to, doesn't have to be too well, and we're going to use mono sounds in it. It's going to cost 10,000, but damn it, we're going, to, we're going to do well in it. There we go. Okay, let's rock. Alright, oh, look at those numbers that keep popping up all over the place. That is delicious. Look at that. Get rid of those bugs and we're going to release it and see what we do. And now it's on the market. New record! New topic, new combo. Great combo! We're at level 2. Come on, level 2 story. Dialogue is fine. Level design is fine. Artificial intelligence is fine. World design is great as well. Graphic, yes, doesn't matter. Sound has gone better. And I'm level 2 still. Release the game to the public. Okay, so new research is available. So we're going to uh, research. Okay, 10 up research points, 20k. Oh, not yet. We're going to do a bit of contact work first. I'm going to do some a logo animation. Okay, come on, reviews. Give us some good reviews. Come on, give me the points. 
have seen better. That's good, but what about the game's merits in itself? Nope, nothing. Don't want to... Fancy and adventure is a great combination. Thank you! Slow clap once again. Falls a bit... Sh oh, that's fine. I'll figure it out eventually. It has its moments. All games! Okay, so we pretty much wasted all of our money researching. So I'm just going to get a bit of job going here. There we go. Come on, do it! Oh god, come on. Be faster, man. Please, be faster! Oh my god, we're going to lose money here. Oh man... Okay, so we're making money from yet another JRPG. That's fine, okay, let's find the, the easier contract work. Character design, this'll do. There we go, come on, give me the money, give me the money. Two, one... There we go, we're gonna keep our heads above water very quickly. I'm gonna be able to afford to feed our family. Good! It's a bit like Papers, Please, except for not as dangerous. Four weeks to complete, uh, set up complete computers. Okay, I can do that. Come on, get that technology down there. Don't scratch your head or get distracted by some people on the piece. No, he's distracted. No, he's not. Yeah, okay, so we're doing good. Sixteen into my bank account. Fantastic. So I think I'm going to leave the video here. This has been part one of game developing with Systematic and uh, that sort of time we have. 